Greetings, my friends. I just made it home from work in one piece. Engine bay looking fierce right now. Damn. It's time to install these gauges. I had them for a while now, haven't really gotten around to it, but today is the day. What we have here are some glow shift lighting gauges. This one right here is my boost gauge. And we got the oil temp gauge ready to go in. Along with the gauges, I'll be throwing in a KN oversized filter, aka the Big Kahuna. Let's check it out real quick. This is much larger than the regular oil filter. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that little baby filter on the bottom. So we're gonna swap that out with this Big Kahuna. It'll give our engine a slightly larger oil capacity, help combat the sludge, lower oil temps. Overall, it's good for the turbo because I beat the shit out of it every day. Can't forget that new oil. I'm running a 5W40 Castro Full Synthetic. Anyways, life is good, so let's move on to those gauges. Let's unbox these real quick. I'll show you what's inside and we can go ahead and install them. First up, we got the boost gauge. We got some of the features on the back of the box. So here's the gauge itself. We got the wiring harness already attached, boost inlet hose. In here we got some hardware. Monkey pod. T piece right here. Some hose and a pod chain. Some warranty information and we got some instructions. Here we have the oil temp gauge with the sensor. Now this gauge, the wiring harness is not attached but it is included. Here we have the sensor and some hardware to wire it up. And the wiring harness itself and the hardware to mount it in. Now that you know what's inside, let's go ahead and install these bad boys. So here is my current pod setup. I got a little blocks boost gauge right here and an empty pod. are down here under the steering wheel and I'm gonna show you how to wire these gauges up. So the first wire that we have is the black one and this one is the ground so using some extra wire I hooked it up to a nut behind all these relays. It's kind of hard to see but it's a gold nut connected to this wire right here. Now we have this red wire which is for the power. This one needs to be wired with the ignition, so when you turn on the key, it'll power up the gauge. For this connection, I wired it to this 75X labeled wire, it's this yellow one right here. Now this orange wire, we're going to hook up to the headlights so that when you turn it on, it'll dim the light of the gauge. And when it's off, then it will bring it back to full brightness. Now the last one is the yellow wire. This one is also a power wire, but it needs to be connected to constant power source so I'm going to be hooking this up to the 30A labeled wire which is this red one right here. You'll see the labels if you're under the car much better than you can see now but the difference between this 30A and the, the one next to it is that this one is fused so in the event of if you have a short then you won't damage your gauge. Here we have the oil temperature gauge it's the same exact process, same wires, with an exception of a green wire. This wire is for the sensor that came with the kit. It has two wires on the sensor, the white one and black. So the white is where the green wire connects to, and the black is pretty much any ground point within the engine. As for the orange wire, here's the location that I tapped into. 
I prefer this way rather than cutting into the headlight switch. So all you gotta do is just look in your fuse panel for number three. And all I did was take the fuse out, put the wire in, and jam the fuse back in. And that pretty much keeps the wire in place and the dimming feature works just like it's supposed to. So we are at the front of the car. I fed the wire that goes to the, uh, the temperature gauge through the firewall. Same for the boost hose. I hooked up the T-piece to the closest vacuum line that I had, which is between the diverter valve and the fuel pressure regulator. Now down here, you can see there's two wires. One of them is going to the power of the temperature sensor, and the other one is the valve, which is directly bolted up to this nut right here. Now here we are looking at the top of the oil filter housing. We need to remove this bracket here in order to access the oil test port. Now this oil test port is where the sensor will be screwed into. 